Thank you, Dr. Xi, for that kind introduction. This conference is always a highlight of the year. It's so uplifting, inspiring, and inclusive. We're all really disappointed that we can't gather in person due to the COVID-19 situation. But I'm so glad that this conference is being held virtually. As we all know, the Asian American community has been hit especially hard by the current health crisis. Historically, Asian Pacific Americans have had the lowest unemployment rate of any group in our country, about 2.3%. The unemployment rate now for our community has surged to over 14.3% during the second quarter of 2020 due to this crisis. Since many Asian Pacific Americans are entrepreneurs and own their own businesses, our community has suffered disproportionately. So in addition to the government assistance, all of us have the challenge of trying to reopen the economy in a safe, phased approach so that millions of people who have lost their jobs and livelihood can return to work. And at the Department of Transportation, our goal is to keep the transportation system open, operational, and safe. You know, prior to this crisis, I'll bet that most people spent very little time thinking about the supply chain that is so important to our economy. Not anymore. While most of us were able to stay home in the early days of this crisis, the transportation systems of this country had to remain open to keep our supply chains strong. Truckers kept our store shelves stocked with food and other items and delivered much needed medical supplies to where they needed to go. Air traffic controllers had to stay on the job to keep our national airspace open. Other airline workers helped to keep our planes flying. Buses and paratransit operators kept communities moving. Freight continued to move by rail. There are stories upon stories of American heroes during this crisis, and many of them are in the transportation sector. Under the CARES Act, which Congress passed and the President signed on March 27, 2020, the Department allocated in record time $10 billion to airports, $25 billion to transit authorities throughout the whole country, and a billion dollars to Amtrak. We also helped the Treasury Department disperse about $46 billion to airline companies, travel agents, and contractors providing services to aviation and airports. All of this money is to be used for payroll and intensified cleaning protocols and for sanitation equipment and supplies. And you may be interested to know that the department also distributed over 100 million face coverings to airports, truckers, transit, and maritime workers. As we continue to respond to the challenges of COVID-19, it is so important to continue to note the contributions of our community. For example, the White House initiative on Asian American and Pacific Islanders this past week hosted a week-long virtual conference for young Asian Pacific American leaders on a range of important topics. In addition, the President's Advisory Commission on Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders has submitted recommendations on how this administration can best support our communities, employers, businesses through the challenges of COVID-19. The initiative has also worked with the Department of Justice to connect Asian Pacific American communities with the Justice Department's Community Relations Services. This is key to helping Asian Pacific American communities 
work with local law enforcement to protect themselves and keep their families safe from hate crimes during this COVID-19 period. The Asian Pacific American community has so much to offer to mainstream America and our contributions to the economic vitality of our country are needed more than ever. So thank you for all that you do to increase opportunities for our community and have a great conference. Weilabangju